Hello, my, my everyone. I'm Skylon, and I should probably give you all a bit of an apology, because the channel's been very, very stagnant lately, apart from a couple of live streams. And, uh, yeah, there's not a whole lot of reason I have for that. It, it's not laziness, I would say. The only shot of it, I guess, is about, well, let's just say a couple weeks ago, this computer gave me a bit of a fright when I was trying to reinstall Fallout 4. Basically, it boils down to, I think the hard drive in it is starting to die. And that's why I was hesitant to create any more pre-recorded videos. Because I didn't want the data to be corrupted or just flat out lost. Because that would just be even worse than none at all. Having put in all that work and have it just go poof. But there is a silver lining on the horizon. Because in the time that I have been dark, I have been building a new rig. The parts of which are no longer in these boxes, they are built. I'm still currently installing drivers and such, but that shouldn't take too much longer. And this rig should give me the capacity to do so much more with the channel. Not just KSP, but also more games that I just didn't have the hardware for previously. Such as a Fallout 4 livestream series. Yes, you know that right. I am going to be hosting every Sunday, from next Sunday of course, every Sunday, 10.30am Eastern Australian Time, I'm going to be hosting a Fallout 4 modded playthrough with some, I'd say, pretty interesting little game rules and such. But enough about that, let's go through what my new rig is. So the heart and soul of it is GeForce GTX 1070 graphics card. This is the most high performance piece of hardware I've ever held. It is being plugged into a Gigabyte H97N Wi-Fi ITX motherboard. Basically it is the cheapest motherboard I could find that fit the processor I have in there because that processor box is a bit misleading. That processor is the one I got for my brother, and he gave me his Intel Core i7 quad core. So that's what's currently in the tower right now. It is being cooled by a Pure Rock, what is that? Pure Rock Slim, or well, Be Quiet Pure Rock Slim air cooler. It's all being powered by a Coolmaster V50. V550 rather, semi-modular power supply. RAM is 16 gigs of HyperX DDR3 and I have a Samsung 250 gig SSD as well as a 2 terabyte hard drive in this beast. So all the mods, all the mods. And it is all being squeezed into a, what is that, I can't remember what it is now. It is a Corsair Carbide Spec M2 M80X case. Now, I just realized the quality of this recording is probably really shit. I sincerely apologize, I'm on my phone right now. But... All these parts, save for the motherboard, came from PCCaseGear.com, which is an Australian vendor, I allow, but they were all curated and made to work using PCPartPicker.com, which is an amazing utility. Basically, it allows you to select into a list all the different components, and as you put in more components, and go searching for new ones, it has a compatibility filter that's on by default. So, 
you can be sure that all the products you're seeing will work with all the other parts that you have. So, for example, you would start with either a motherboard or a processor. In this case, it's an LGA 1150 socket processor. And then when you go to select a motherboard, it will only show you motherboards with that socket. And from there, you know, coolers, graphics cards, power supplies, it gives you power estimates and all that stuff. And it will even tell you, it basically, it takes the data from all sorts of vendors, PC Case Gear, NCIX, um, Newegg.com, it takes the products from all of these different places, curates the data, and basically gives you what you need to know at a click of a button, as well as giving you links to all those sites where you can purchase the individual components. And for example, when it comes to choosing your case, I've gone with the Purox Slim because the full-size Be Quiet Purox cooler would not fit in this case. As such, it didn't show up in the list of PC coolers available. Also, optical drives, if the case that you've selected doesn't have a five and a quarter inch bay, let's get the framing correct, if, yeah, if you don't have the compatibility for parts, PC Part Picker will not show those parts to you. So if there's a particular part that you definitely want in your build, you would choose that early and then basically just daisy chains down the line. So, yeah, once I get these, this computer all set up, which honestly looks like it's going to take a while, we will be launching into a whole swath of new content for the channel. And so long as I can help it, there will not be another massive drought of content like we've just had. I had planned on doing a KSP live stream today, but that was predicated on getting this thing set up a whole lot earlier. So as such, there is no stream today, but next week, definitely, we will be launching into Fallout 4. So I guess that's about the long and short of it. So thank you all kind for watching. I sincerely apologize for the obviously crap quality of this selfie style vlog, but you know, it's the first one I've done, so cut me a little slack. Anyway, I'm Scarlet. See you all later.